devil sticks. They're amongst the hottest selling gizmos around these days. Last fall, City Beat introduced you to a couple of young entrepreneurs who had dropped out of McGill to make devil sticks their passion. In their little Saint Denis apartment, they designed and built enough of these sticks to meet the needs of a healthy trend happening on the street corners and parks around Montreal. It's almost certain that it's a, an Asian toy, probably Chinese. Something to teach balance, coordination. It's starting to get big now because a lot of people are doing it, because a lot of people realize that there's money in it. So there's a lot of small time people all over the, I guess, North America and probably the world putting together these things. But I, as far as I know, there are no huge manufacturers yet. It started out a lot different. It started a lot more basic than this, but I tried new things. I saw different sticks that were made in different ways, and I just incorporated the parts I liked in my own design. Well, my mother used to keep thinking I should continue my degree and become a doctor or something silly like that. My father thinks I'm, he thinks I got the entrepreneur spirit. I'm going to make it somewhere along the line. Wow. That was then and this is now. We got our own company. Since that first City Beat story that you did, Alistair, a uh, Toronto toy company called us almost immediately after it aired. They had the contacts and the money and we had the product and the ideas, so we joined forces. It's really been amazing. I mean, we've been to the New York Toy Show, the Toronto Toy Show, and we're selling to different stores. Where are we selling, Chris? We're, sell we're in Toys R Us Canada, USA. We're in FAO Schwartz, uh, Walmart, Zellers. We ship more this month than we have shipped in the last six months. Yeah, we ship over 100,000 100, sticks. Uh, well, we did like a million dollars in business in May. I always thought that they were going to take a big way for somebody. I knew from the beginning I started selling them that it was going to be a really big bat, but I didn't necessarily think it would be us. And we got lucky. But as you can see, there's a ton of devil sticks here. A lot of these, I know, are destined for the U.S. market. It's just absolutely mad in here right now. It's crazy. We're shipping stuff constantly. The trucks are constantly pulling up and constantly pulling out. It was the same people yeah. still. I mean, we have people helping us out on the business end of it. They, they take care of the nasty details, and we still do what we do best. We play with sticks, we promote the products. The original Harvey Freeman Pro Devil Sticks at 19.99 they are the hottest craze around, according to the Toy Store catalog. Boy, oh boy, that two-man operation now boasts 120 employees and counting at their warehouse in Ville Saint Laurent. That's just pretty huge general business success, eh? And to think it all took off when they first came on City Beat. Up next on our show, a how-to guide for those going cruising on a social sea. Hey, how are you? Couldn't help noticing you're sitting here all by yourself there in a 